Hello YouTube, being from the bedroom here, you guitar junkie. So, who'd think I'd have six single cut LP Les Paul style guitars? Being a Strat man my entire life, go figure, right? Let's get into it. <clears throat> uh, what should I go with? I get. I, I guess I would go with, I'm going to start with the least expensive and work my way up. So I'll be moving around a lot. My very favorite is the Holly Benton 550 Deluxe 2. This is a uh, chambered guitar, Tesla pickups. 22 blacksmith medium jumbo stainless steel frets that are truly medium jumbo. Impeccable fret work. Beautiful guitar binding all the way around it. It's a triple A flame maple top. I do that just to make a point that it is a true top. It's a nice thick maple cap on here or top. No veneer. Yes. Nice cutaway on the back. Uh, Parferro, if I pronounced that correctly. Fingerboard, which is hard, smooth, and has a different wood tone. It's a little bit brighter than like uh, regular rosewood. Graftech nut, vintage style tuners that stay in tune. Flute on the back there, which you've heard me say a thousand times. I, I Gives it more uh, stability to the headstock and I think a little bit more sustain. And that's just me. Two volume, two tone, no splittable pickups here because I don't need them. Right? I just change the knobs. So I'm going to go with what I'm seeing. I'm going to go with what I paid for. I paid $205 for this guitar and it's a B stock and it was selling for $260 brand new. Now, today they're up to 269 but still, the best guitar for the money out of anything that I'm going to show you here today. And yes, I could be biased towards um, Holly Benton because they're so good. Uh, next is my Bad Cat. This is made, um, I believe it's uh, out of China, or Indonesia, part of China. This is a 2021, I bought this brand new in 2021. That's how long I've had it for. And besides the upgrades, I put um, locking tuners on here. The, uh, they look like the uh, Grover tuners. This has a, uh, I believe it was a Graf Tech nut or bone nut. I really don't remember. So let's just strike that from the record. A rosewood, proper rosewood fingerboard, 22 titanium frets. So it's like taking a stainless steel fret and then spraying it with WD-40. It's that much slicker. Uh, all of them have it, uh, um, the trapezoid inlays, so I'm not going to bring that up each and every time. I did change the pickups. I took the original ones out of here. They sounded okay. I just wanted something with a little bit more punch, you know, like bong, gong pao chicken. So I put these Evolution pickups from Amazon. They were like 80 bucks for the pair. Zebra looking. Not zebra. Zebra. And this has a triple A tiger maple top as well. So the other thing I did was I put a roller bridge on here. The roller bridge and the locking tune is. This puppy never goes out of tune. Not really. They all <laughs> stay in tune. I don't have a complaint with any of them except for one and I'll get to that and I'll, you'll know the reason 
but this is like the a um, copycat or a replica of like a 59 Les Paul. So no chambering going on here. It's it's copied after an original old 59 Les Paul, but it's got a nice thin 60s neck on here. And just this is like my mojo guitar, you know, it's it's a great instrument. And I just again I changed the, the uh, knobs and you can see I've got the pins on here like the uh ones on the 69 so this was 295 back in the day brand new and of course with the 80 bucks and the uh, i think it was 32 bucks for the locking tuners because they're they're not they look like a grover tuner but they're like a copy of the grover tuner it's very hard to read what exactly they are you can see it yeah, this is uh, this is as close to me as having a copycat of a nice fifty nine, without you know breaking the bank. They only make so many different guitars now. They've stopped with this model. That was the unicorn. So back in the day, they were like two fifty to two ninety five. Now. If you could find one on Reverb, you could go to the, uh, what is it? I don't remember the name of their website. You could type in Bad Cat Unicorn, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a Chinese name now that they changed it to. But if you could find them for 250 300 and change, I would grab it. That's how great the guitars are. Let me see price for why. So I went from 205, 260, 269. Yeah, three different prices put out on the Holly Benton. To the Bad Cat 295, to my Chipson 59 Greeny Moore replica. So the only thing I did to this when I got it was I put the locking tuners on it. And I got the pickups from Fabian, I think it is, off of Reverb. These are the Greeny Moore pickups. He makes them himself. He hand wires them, hand wounds them. He does the uh, reverse magnet pickup. So you have that out of phase when you're in the middle. And... That was 180 bucks. They go for like 180 bucks plus 20 bucks shipping. And I don't know what they are now. I think they're, they're 80 bucks again. I think there was 200 and 80 bucks shipping. Whatever, whatever it was, um, he cut me a deal. I paid 180 flat and he, he piggybacked the pickups with another order. Cause I told him I was going to put it on my YouTube channel. And, uh, that kind of helped. <laughs> so he had them out to me, I'd say in two and a half weeks. They went from Australia, because that's where he's based out of, to California to me. I finally got them. I had my tech put them in. And the uh, that's it. Pretty much, I just changed the pickups and the tuners. So this thing here from AliExpress. My only guitar that I bought from AliExpress was, I think it was $318. I've seen these cheaper, but I, I've seen pictures of them. And, and the ones that I've seen that were cheaper, like $250 and, and $290, the pitches that I asked the manufacturer to send to me, they didn't look as good as this. This looks exactly like the pitches the guy sent me. This is the exact guitar. He took the pictures of and he sent to me uh, some of them that are 250 or 300 bucks they could add on another you know 100 bucks for shipping so keep that in mind this has the uh, lemon drop 
tiger maple top, and I'm also, I'm awfully sure that it's a veneer top. Uh, I saw it, a video, one or two videos that someone bought the same guitar, and they took the whole thing apart and they they broke it down. But they did say that it it, it was a true tiger maple. It wasn't a photo finish. Is what I'm getting at. So for three hundred and eighteen dollars. Of course, it was up. It was my choice to change the pickups. The pickups that I that came in it were just like this. This one was upside down, and they sounded okay, but just okay. These sound great, and if I were to change a pair of humbucking pickups in any guitar, whether it be an LP or even like a Strat, I would probably get this the same pair with the the covers on them and have that done because. They sound great, and to have that middle with the out of phase just sounds awesome. And this, I was comparing it to spending like two hundred plus for um, Seymour Duncan pickups because that's my that's my favorite pickup, the Seymour Duncans. But you can't get them for under two hundred bucks. So this one here for one eighty shipped to my door, they sound amazing. So yeah, three hundred eighteen bucks, and if you Count on, you know, and on what I spent with the 80 bucks, 180 and the tuners, you got to go past that dollar amount. The other one is, yes, the other one is my other Holly Benton, the Super Shredder, because who doesn't like a... LP single cut guitar with a Floyd Rose, a real Floyd Rose. It's awesome. These have Roswell pickups in it. They're they're okay. They sound good. Um, I like their classic humbucking pickups more than a Roswell. And then a step above that, I love their Tesla pickups. I just think. The Tesla pickups sound amazing. This is a thin body mahogany neck, set neck and, and, and body. It's got this nice cutaway here. And it's almost maybe slightly heavier, if not the same weight as my Greeny Moore. And if not heavier, no, it's even lighter than my Bad Cat. So this is my scale on. Yeah, it, for a solid mahogany neck and body, it's not as heavy as you think because it, it's so thin. And this has a coil tap. Big deal. Volume, volume, and tone for both. Three-way. No poker chip around the three-way toggle switch. And this one here has... Original Grover tuners. And let me see. This one is made in Vietnam. See? That really proves that I'm not a guitar snob. Vietnam, Indonesia, China. Um, what's the other one? I, I just... I, I, I See, that's how quick my mind goes. But yeah, this is a beast. Super shredder. I love it. So this was $299. And these go for like four in change, like $459. If you want, they also have them in e EMG pickups and they're like another hundred bucks more. I had this on order for the longest time and it, it kept on saying, you know, like four to five weeks, four to five weeks. And I finally found one used on, oh yeah, this has a belly cut as well. I found this used at Guitar Center because Guitar Center sells Holly Benton guitars. Oh, $2.99. And I'm a platinum customer, so I, I, don't, I didn't pay for shipping. It's $2.99 for this guitar. And it's great. I love it. I love the black. It's a satin black. It reminds me of 
you know, the, the Peter Frampton, although it's just got two pickups, or the Jeff Beck that he had, that Ox Blood one that he had on the cover of one of his albums. I don't remember which one it was. So, yeah, everyone has to have an LP with a Floyd Rose. All right. Sticking with the price point. This one here was $3.99, I do believe from what I can remember. This has a mahogany neck and body. It's got the, again, like the Holly Benton, it's got that nice cut you can get down there. The wood, it's hard to see, but the wood grain on this, you know, you, I'm looking at it on the phone, and I don't see it, but when I look at it here, I can see the wood grain, the mahogany wood grain on this, and it's just stunning. It's the back, one piece back, no mucking about. And I did the same thing. I changed the tunas. I put on locking tunas. I got these. I think these were, let's just stick with 32 bucks to be safe from Amazon. I've got these on a lot of my guitars. I think they're great. I don't remember what the nut is because I, I bought it used from Guitar Center. And this, I believe it's a, a, a proper rosewood fingerboard. It almost looks ebony because it's got some black and some brown in it mixed together. Like there's a brown, you know, spot here, but then this is darker. This has 22 nickel frets, as far as I recall. The fret work is, is great. I don't remember when I got it, if I had to do anything to it, because I've had it for a while. This is the vintage style Ace Fraley. Three pickup. And very simple. You've got the neck pickup, the middle pickup, the bridge pickup. So the you've got the total of the four knobs. You've got a tone pot for all three. The top volume is for the neck. The second one on the you know, under that is for the bridge, and the third one over here is for the middle pickup. So the best thing to do is to leave it in the middle and just turn on whatever knob you want that pickup to be on. You could have all three on at the same time, or you could have these two on, you could have these two on, you could have these two on, you know, whatever you want to do. Now, if you go to the bridge pickup, you have to have the other ones turned off completely. And even when you do that, sometimes you get a little bit of bleed. So if I go to the, the bridge in the bridge position and I have the other two volumes off, sometimes you'll hear like that middle pickup. Same thing if I'm in the neck and I have the other two turned off, sometimes you'll hear that middle pickup. How I know that is that I tapped it with a metal screwdriver and you could still hear it ever so slightly. But when you go in the middle and turn off the, the knobs for each one and tap on it, you don't hear it. So that's the middle position is the best position. And just use the uh, volume to control it. So this has a tiger maple top. And again, I don't know if it's a top or if it's a veneer because I bought it used. And I can't, I can't really find these for sale anymore. I think this is a model from... Uh, 2019 so this was their newer version in 2019 they had a, a black one before this with three pickups which I'm constantly looking for but this is the vintage brand and from what I remember from my uh, friends across the pond it's a uh, English British company again this has a thin 60s neck and it's just a you know beautiful guitar to, to me, for three ninety nine for four hundred bucks, it's a little bit high on my list. Not to have stainless steel frets on a guitar, and yes, I'm just I'm getting I'm getting spoiled with the stainless steel frets. But just to just you know the guitar itself and the history and how long this company has been in business and the quality that you get on here, I love it. And who doesn't love uh, Ace Frehley? I mean, I was a big Kiss fan. Growing up, you know, my heroes growing up were Richie Blackmore, 
Carlos Santana and Ace Fraley. And then I got older, and then all of a sudden, I was turned on, turned on to uh, Jimi Hendrix, which I didn't know who that was at the time when he was alive. I found out who he was in the 80s, and then, you know, my world was rocked when I heard Eruption on the radio at work one night, and Eddie Van Halen came into my life. So, next one up, if I didn't forget any of them, and the most expensive one, and the one I'm going to probably compare to the other ones because of the price point, is my Gibson-inspired Epiphone with the uh, changed Kar Karamazoo uh, Michigan headstock when they were making Epiphones out of the same factory as Gibson's back in the day. This is all stock. I didn't do a thing to it. It's recently purchased. So this one has original Grover blocking tuners. This has your mahogany body and neck. But as you can see right here, it's a three-piece body with a one-piece neck. And the headstock is glued on. Why it's not one piece like all the other ones, why it doesn't have a falute back here to support the stabilization of the neck or give it more sustain is beyond me. You'd have to ask Epiphone why that is. This is a GraphTech nut. So let me just go over the good points and then tell you what I had to do with it. So the good points is that this is your Epiphone Modern Magma fade burst it's a tiger maple well, yeah it's not flamed it's like tiger maple veneer with your i think they're burst buckets i've been saying that and i don't know if i'm right or i'm wrong but two and three you have if i don't pull the knobs off see i keep on pulling the knobs off on this you have the tiger switch uh, the, the tone pot for that's part of the um, neck that's a phaser so it changes it from series from series to parallel and it, it it's like that gives you that greeny more thing but as you could see I'm every time I go to use it I might have to put a drop of glue in there to keep it from coming out I'm constantly pulling now the other ones this is this is no light that's the neck pick up that's a pull push so once you pull it you split the coil and you get one single coil this is the a little bit easier than the neck this is the bridge volume pot which splits the coil for that and then you have a regular tone pot here so this tone works for the bridge this tone works for the neck plus when you pull it out it interfaces, it phases the pickups. The good thing is that the phase switch really sounds great whether you're in the neck, the, the neck position, the middle position, or the bridge position. A lot of guys are saying you got to put it in the middle in order to hear it. No. You could put leave them on humbucking and you could pull it and just put it in the neck or in the bridge and it's gonna interphase, give you that that phase out of phase kind of sound and you could also have these splittable either way you want whatever order you want with this on at the same time however you want to do it so this has 22 nickel frets not stainless steel on an ebony fingerboard it's got that contoured back so it's easier to get to you're not coming down and hitting that heel and now to compare it to my other guitars, I'm going to go with my cheapest one here, my one that I got for $205 B-Stock. So this one comes with Grover locking tuners, a GraphTech nut, and 22 regular frets. 
my downside of it is that the vintage tune is on the Holly Benton, stay in tune. I'm just going to change them as I do on every guitar I put locking tunings on. Because I don't like to wind the string. I don't like to do that luthier knot. I just want to pull it in, tighten it, tune it, and snip it. I don't want to be bothered with winding a guitar. When I got this new, and it apparently left Epiphone, all of the locking tuners were not locked. They're wrapped twice around. It shouldn't be wrapped twice around. If you're going to wrap them with a non-locking nut, you want them at least four, at least three times around. This has two times this wasn't tight. So when I was playing it, it kept on going out of tune until I, I realized that these have to be locked down. And then I looked and I was like, oh, the, the strings are wrapped when they shouldn't be. So those are two mistakes that should have been caught before it left the factory. The draft tech nut, four out of the six strings I had to take a file to because if you went from E and hit the first fret, it's not going to be F. It was F sharp and so on and so forth. The frets aren't stainless steel and I'm comparing it to the Holly Benton. Why can't Holly, if, if Holly Benton can do it, why can't Everyone else do it, and especially Epiphone. These are selling for $6.99, brand new. And you're telling me they can't put stainless steel frets on here? They can't have someone, you know, sh train someone how to use a locking key, how to string it, how to tighten it up. They can't have the nut, have the strings checked, to have the nut file down before they send it out. The other thing is that it's a veneer top. It's not a cap. It's not a true maple like hunk of wood. It's just a veneer. The pots are really hard. I'm not kidding you because it's new to open up. And as soon as I pull this one, I got to pull it and, and like twist the knob on an angle so I don't pull it off completely. The backing on it, they're not shielded. The Holly Benton, they're shielded. Holly Benton, you have the set neck in a solid piece of mahogany, solid neck and headstock mahogany, not the headstock glued onto the neck, glued into the body with a three-piece body. So, yes, I am, as much as I like this guitar, I am truly ripping it apart. Because to me, it's it's a, it's a four or five hundred dollar guitar, at best, and to when, with I the ration of crap that I got with my um, guitar fetish guitar, and everyone saying, "Well, you get what you paid for." Well, you know, seven hundred dollar guitar, I, I expect more. I expect it to be better than a two hundred and five dollar guitar or two hundred sixty dollar guitar. A two hundred ninety-five dollar guitar. See what I mean? So yeah, those are my gripes about the guitar. And other than that, if they priced it better and came down, but they'd go and buy the Epiphone, just like Gibson goes with the Gibson name. They figured let's squeeze as much money as we can. Uh, we have enough people that are that are uh, guitar snobs that are Debbie Down is on on anything that's not a Gibson an Epiphone, a Fender, or even a Squire for that matter. But yet, this is made in, in China, and they're all coming out of the same factory. So, yeah. Um, I'm, I, and I only bought this because I didn't pay $6.99 for it. I got this on sale. And that's why I have it. Whether or not I'm going to keep it, I'm not sure, because I have to see if I gel with it. See these other guitars? I gel with them. The Holly Benton, as soon as I got it, it just, it was like, like, like a guitar I've had my entire life. Like, almost like it's my first guitar that I'm so comfortable with playing. I love the way it sounds, like the way it feels, so on and so forth. Yada, yada, yada. Yep. So, there's my six LP guitars. I never even thought 
that I'd have six LP style guitars ever being a Strat guy right there <laughs> with the Floyd and then I got turned into turned on to the uh, the telly style so that's another video thanks for watching have a good day to bed tomorrow and let me see if this will work adios amigos